I have no idea if this is going to work. It's like the first time I've tried this on my computer. So, uh, May is supposed to be Eller Stainless Awareness Month. I'm hoping someday they all figure out that we're all too sick to remember which month is our awareness month, but somehow in like the beginning of May, I finally figured it out. Eller Stainless Month. Yay. Um, so I'm going to do a video that I was really hoping that someone else would do. Um, that's going to be a series of videos. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with Eller Stainless and you've never heard of me, um, Monica Michelle, I started Invincible Not Broken, which is a chronic illness disability podcast network. And now we have a whole bunch of really awesome podcasters on it. So yay. Um, I now run explicitly sick on that network. And, um, so I have Eller Stainless among a whole bunch of other things. We're just going to be talking about Eller Stainless. So that is a connective tissue disorder. That means that the connective tissues in your body that hold your bones, you know, kind of where they should be, decides to go all modern art sculpture. And it means you can dislocate much easier than other people. For me, it means I can dislocate by pointing at something. Probably will dislocate sometime during this video. So hold your breath. It'll be exciting. Um, basically, nothing can really be done about this. There's no exoskeleton suit, as far as I know, that would work for all of us. So what we have is we've got painkillers, we've got anti-inflammatory. I am lucky enough to live in a state that is uh, marijuana legal, so that makes my life so much better. It is also something I use with my pain meds as well. Um, super important to just kind of know that they all kind of work together. The CBD and the other stuff really helps with the inflammation. Cool. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is this book. So since we don't really have a lot that we get to have um, to make us better, because there really isn't a better thing that we get to do that the medical world has given us, we get physical therapy, which is awesome. Um, I have some issues with this. Um, as I know, if you know me at all, you know I've got issues. Uh, so living life to the fullest with Eller Stainless Syndrome. Cool. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, I hate that title. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Um, but we'll leave that alone. This is the Muldowney method. Um, which is cool. Uh, there's a lot of cool here. There's a lot of good. I've watched a lot of other videos from people who have done this and I've, um, read all of the, yay, this is awesome. Um, which always makes me raise an eyebrow all the way to my hairline. Uh, when anyone starts going how awesome, uh, wellness stuff is, especially since this book, when I bought it, it was $80 for the book. <laughs> and, uh, I'll leave that there. That annoyed me, but whatever. Okay. So Basically, this is a physical therapy method that has multiple steps. Um, the first round of it is basically bridges um, and some other things. Now, I'm going to hopefully, either every week or every month, depending on how these videos do, I'm going to update you on how I do with this. This is kind of like anywhere between one to two year program, depending on how you do with it. Um, and I've heard people go everything from, hey, this was pretty cool and it kept me where I was to, I don't use painkillers anymore and everything's fabulous. So I'm going to go through this and I will let you all know how I do on the Muldowney system. I am not a doctor. Obviously, I would have hopefully more money than I do now. Um, I'm not a medical professional in any way, shape or form. I am just a person who has Eller Stainless who's in their 40s, who is, uh, I use a wheelchair a lot of the time, cane most of the other times. Some days I get to walk, yay. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a viewpoint on what it's like to go through this entire system. Um, once you pay for the book, that's kind of the big price outlay. Um, you, If you want to do this also, you need one of these balls. Um, I got mine on Amazon for like $4. You need a band. I need a new one. This one does not work. Um, and then you need one of these giant exercise balls behind me. Um, you also need a physical therapist. Uh, you probably could do a lot of these exercises, especially if you are knowledgeable on your own. If you have no other options, again, I'm not a doctor. Do not follow my advice. Talk to a doctor about it. I will just tell you how I'm doing. Um, I'm on the second step. So I probably should have started this last month. Um, I'm two months into this. I'm on second step. So basically you go in 10 second increments on these exercises. Um, and 
I um, have hit a wall at two minutes and 30 seconds and I kind of feel like I have to go backwards a little bit. I'm going to start off this video real quick and just tell you uh, <laughs> the challenges I'm having. I am used to going to the wall. I used to be a ballerina. I used to be very into fitness and weightlifting and all sorts of other things. I love, I'm the weird person. I love exercise. I guess it's not weird. I love exercise. It makes me happy. Um, and uh, getting this sick has been really hard because I don't get to go for my 10 mile bike rides every day anymore. I know it's not huge, but it was really fun. It was a nice way to get to work, um, but I don't get to work anymore. So um, it's kind of hard to get rid of that mentality of um, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it really well and I'm going to do it really long. And I, I, of course, can get all of this done. So erasing that mindset and staying within my limitations, staying in my lane has been deeply difficult. And it's been a very humbling experience because you look at these exercises and you do like the first two of a rep and you're like, oh yeah, no worries. I got this. This is so easy. What am I even doing? And then your tail gets handed to you. Um, and today my tail got handed to me. I had gotten myself all the way to two minutes and 30 seconds on all my exercises. You're supposed to get to three minutes. Um, and at two minutes and 30 seconds, I realized I not only can't do that, I've got to go backwards <laughs> um, because form over reps is desperately important in this process. It is so important. The whole idea is that you are working your core um, so that your core gets so strong that it can hold everything else together. And I thought that was kind of okay. I, it makes sense, but okay. And I didn't get it. After one month of doing these exercises, here's what I can tell you from my experience. I found that even though I was dislocating the same amount of time and just as severely, I was also more stable on my feet, so I wasn't falling as much. Um, I do fall a lot. I, I uh, had the Ellis Janeless clumsy thing going. Um, I don't fall as often. I'm definitely more stable. Um, I find that um, I feel like I move more gracefully again, <laughs> like more like back to my ballet side. I'm sure everyone else will argue this. Um, but I do feel a sense of stability. I also have put like most of the people I know in my life on this system, at least doing bridges. Um, my mom's like basically doing nothing but the bridges. That's the only thing she does. And she's noticed a huge difference in her back pain. My husband um, is doing the bridges and a few other little things. And he's noticing that um, because he's at his desk all day that this has been better for him. So this isn't just for Eller Stainless. Um, my father just got back from the hospital after having two heart attacks and I have him doing just very light, uh, just stomach bracing and uh, foot pedaling just to kind of get him ready for things. So this is mostly a love letter to <laughs> physical therapy in general and working on the core, but I will be updating you on how I'm doing with the Mold Downy method. And hey, happy Eller Stainless Awareness Month. Um, wave gently at your fellow zebras, I guess. I, I really don't know what to possibly say about that. I, yeah. All right. So thanks so much. Um, if you want to hear me interview people about their chronic illness, their invisible illness, their disabilities, and also caretakers, I run a podcast called, um, I can't believe, <laughs> I can't, that's the other podcast. Um, it's called Explicitly Sick. It's on the Invisible Not Broken Network. I also run a 10 minute podcast for kids about history. So that's the I Can't Believe That Happened podcast. Too many things to think about right now. Um, so we're also going to be running a contest for cute pets for people with chronic illness. So please check that out. Join our community at Invisible Not Broken. It's it's become really an uh, awesome place to hang out. So you can find us at invisiblenotbroken.com. Thank you so much for listening. And um, if you want to tell me about your Moldowny experience, please, I'm so curious. This is a huge time commitment to put into a protocol. And I'd love to hear your stories. So thank you so much. Um, comment below with your stories about the Moldowny method. And happy Eller Stainless Awareness Month.